10 on your side is your local election headquarters. As you prepare to cast your ballot in the next few weeks, we want to make sure that you know candidates' platforms, but also sort out the fact from fiction. And right now you're probably seeing campaign advertisements really everywhere. One mailer for the 21st District race for the Virginia House of Delegates contains accusations of racism. That's the focus of our Andy Fox's Truth Tracker tonight. Virginia Beach delegate Kelly Fowler's opponent calls her extremist, weak on illegal immigration, and she is pictured with violent gang members from El Salvador. But what does the truth tracker find about the claims? One of my daughters brought in from the mail. That is how delegate Kelly Fowler found out her opponent had photoshopped her in with violent MS-13 gang members. Truth tracker finds that image unfair and false. And you think it's racist? I do absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm. The choice was made to put me next to criminal gang members, to put me in their lines, to present me as one. It has nothing to do with her ethnicity. It has everything to do with the votes and the policies and the stands that she has to protect the folks that are here illegally. It states Fowler voted against overriding Governor Northam's veto of sanctuary cities. That is true. But here's why. This was banning something that wasn't already allowed. They never had the authority to have sanctuary cities. Sanctuary cities are not allowed in Virginia already. We don't allow sanctuary cities in Virginia. You can't have them. Because we have a legislature in Virginia that does that. We, we have the Dillon rule. Exactly. That's Fowler's point. Do you support sanctuary cities? No, I do not. I think if you commit a violent crime, you should go to prison, regardless of where you came from. She's saying we don't already allow it because we're a Dillon rule state. So what is the harm in voting for this bill that would further prove that we are not going to stand with illegal residents coming into our community? Fowler supports free in-state tuition for undocumented asylum applicants. That is false. She only supports in-state tuition, not free. But they're still having to pay the in-state The in-state portion of the Yeah, but are. that's not what you say. You say free in-state tuition. That's the problem she has with that. Okay, fair enough. It is true. Fowler supports students who are legally enrolled in Virginia high schools to be eligible. Kane approved the ad. Why? And does she regret sending it out? You looked at it, didn't you? I'm here doing a story on it. It's the part of politics that, that we all hate. It's the part of politics that we all would turn away from if we could. Um, but it's the part of politics that lets people know or gets people's attention, and that's what's happening. We vote in 12 days, and I'm told get ready for more pictures of violent gang members from El Salvador. For the Truth Tracker, I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.